LabGuru's ELN solution makes your experiment searchable, reproducible, and accessible from anywhere, anytime. Today, we will show you how to create the perfect experiment in LabGuru. In order to demonstrate, we are going to run a simple ELISA experiment. Let's start from a pre-designed protocol. The protocol includes all instructions for the experiment, as well as a form for entering data in a structured manner, saving us time. If needed, you can also create a blank experiment and start from scratch. To keep the experiment in the right context, place it in the relevant project and folder. In this case, it will be placed in the Binding Assays project. Let's edit the title and date so that the experiment can be easily found when you search for it later. As you can see, several sections of this experiment are already filled in from the protocol, but if necessary, you can add more custom sections. In every section, you have the option to add many different elements that will help you with data entry. In this particular experiment, we need to record the samples, design a plate for the reader, and add spreadsheets. That can be done here. Here, in the description section, we added an introduction using the text element, as well as an image, providing information about the procedure. The sample element allows you to connect the specific samples and supplies used in the experiment. This way, you can keep everything connected and track every single antibody or buffer used in this ELISA run. Another useful feature is designing plate layouts. Let's select the exact dimensions and populate each well with the antibodies, antigens, and buffers entered in the previous step. Now we have a design ready and exactly matching the way it's entered into the plate reader in real life. As we mentioned before, the protocol that we are using includes a form that helps enter data in a controlled and structured manner. We can use it to enter different values to the selected fields every time we perform an experiment with the same protocol. All this information can later be viewed as a data set, with each experiment that uses this protocol showing up as a separate row in a table. This way, we can see our progress and view each ELISA run as a part of a series, allowing us to compare results across experiments. In this section, we can see step-by-step -step instructions for the procedure, and when working with colleagues on the same experiment, we can see who performed and signed each step. If you need to perform calculations and data analysis, you can use LabGuru spreadsheets, which include all the tools required for formulas, graph creation, and more. In this case, we'll use the spreadsheet to calculate the concentration and dilutions of the different reagents. Now, after entering the ELISA plate into the reader and receiving results, we can attach them into the results section. To finish the experiment, let's sign it off. Any teammate with witnessing privileges can view it and add a second signature. In this video, we explained how to create an experiment. For more information about using protocols, stay tuned for our next video. To learn more about LabGuru, check out our website, www.labguru.com, or contact us for more information, info at labguru.com.